Welcome to Run With It, BC's only running fitness and health show. On this episode, we are happy to have back on the show registered dietitian Gloria Sang to talk about are we getting enough protein in our diet. Also coming up later in the show, we have a mini fashion show that will showcase some athletic wear on West 4th Avenue. And we also have Doctor's Corner. But first, let's go to our segment on the Run to Quit program. Check this out. I'm here with Laurie and Liz, and they're both here to talk about the Run to Quit program. I'm really excited. And Liz, let's start. Tell us about the Run to Quit program. Absolutely. So the Run to Quit program is an innovative, effective smoking cessation program that combines physical activity with a quit smoking model. And participants who were in the program last year um, were seven times more likely to quit smoking than people who were trying on their own. My goodness, so now is this the second time that it's going to be running the program? This is the second year that it's yes. running the program. Um, there was also a pilot um, uh, two years ago, but this is the second year that it's in that it's running, no pun intended. That's awesome. And are what's new, or, or are there going to be any new features? Absolutely. So last year they, um, they had in-store clinics, which Lori will speak to as the expert, um, but they also have the virtual training program, and the next one starts in January. So if you have New Year's resolutions to quit smoking, then this is the time to do it. And then in the spring, so the end of March and April, there'll be some in-store running room clinics that will combine a um, quit smoking plan um, in the 10-week coach-led program. So there's also the in-store clinic as well. It's wonderful. Lori, you tell us your role. You're the coach of the Run to Quit program. That's right. So I am the person that's here to lead um, these people who have made that choice to quit smoking. Um, we meet once a week for a um, training program and then we get together and do practice runs on two other nights of the week. So we have a lot of um, guest speakers, we have various different people that come in and talk to us um, more on the running aspect and what it's going to look like for these people to be leading a healthier lifestyle. That's wonderful and it's for anyone Wants to For quit anyone who has decided to quit smoking, um, we also encourage you to bring along a friend or, a, or someone to help inspire you to get here every week and um, that can also become your running buddy for those days that maybe you can't make it to a practice run, but you still have your friend that's going to encourage you to keep running, but also that person that's going to help you um, stay on that quit smoking path as well. So there's always somebody here to help you to encourage you, whether it be um, individual encouragement. We have run clubs and we have lots and lots of support from um, other runners that are out there that have also probably been smokers in some cases. We also bring in people to talk to you on other things other than the sort of smoking side of things. Um, your nutrition, how to stay uninjured, how your biomechanics work. So there's all different aspects that we can show you and we sort of don't leave you out there to fend for yourself, you know, to try and figure these out, things out for yourself. There's always somebody here to help you. And some of the friendships that you see that have been created, even in our last um, Run to Quit program that we did, we still have a couple of girls that come out, they run together, they're doing races together, they're doing all kinds of different things together, but helping each other out and encouraging each other to stay quit smoking and to stay living a healthy lifestyle. And the feedback's been great. Feedback's been incredible. Yes. Yeah, really positive feedback. Um, the run that we did from this store, we had so much fun. Um, yes. We were given little medals. So there was all kinds of things to help encourage people to perhaps come back and do it again. I mean, well, it's so inspiring to hear you say that. And, you know, going to the virtual program, you know, people may not, they may feel intimidated or they don't have access, you know, to a running room. Um, they can join online. Yeah, absolutely. So um, in BC, there'll be six running room locations mm -hmm. uh, for in-store clinics. So those locations are the Canby store in Vancouver, the Denman store in Vancouver, Pork Coquitlam, uh, Broadmead in Victoria and in Nanaimo, as well as in Kelowna. But if you don't live in one of those areas, you can still register for the virtual program and you can still have that 10 week coach led sessions, um, but you can do it anywhere. That's wonderful. Yeah. I understand that 
sometimes it takes maybe three tries to quit smoking. Is that right? Or uh, You know, new research is indicating that it's up to 30 attempts mm. to successfully quit wow. smoking. Um, but, but research does also show that if you can successfully quit for just over a month, then you're five times more likely to quit smoking. Those social supports that this program offers um, increases the chances even more. Wow, it's a needed service, and it's so inspiring to speak to both of you. And for more information, what can they? So the website is great, www.runtoquit.com. Anybody can log in there, you can register there, uh, and you can find either a training program close to you, or you can sign up for the virtual program, or you can sign up for the Commit to Quit. And by doing that, by registering, by signing up, as a participant, you're entered into um, into a, into the chance to win prizes, and we have about forty five thousand dollars worth of prizes, including the grand prize, yeah. which is a car. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's wonderful. I want to thank you both for coming on the show, Run with It, and um, Happy New Year. To register for Run to Quit or to find out more information about this great program, please visit the website runtoquit.com. Joining me in the studio is registered dietitian Gloria Sang and founder of HealthCastle.com. Welcome back, Gloria. I'm so happy to be back. New year, a new beginning, and most people, you know, start on an exercise program and all about eating healthy or eating right. And I see bread. We're talking about protein today, right? Getting enough protein. So Absolutely. You might be surprised why I bring some, you know, bread. <laughs> um, I found this new country harvest bread that is made with four different types of pulses, beans, chickpeas, lentils, which actually boost one uh, slice have six grams of protein and three grams of fiber. So I thought, you know, it's not just some of the typical high protein food that has protein, but bread nowadays have protein. So it's good to always check the labels to see what's new out there. And it's a new bread, as you said. And so this is really good. You don't need an egg. You can have just a you know slice of bread or a slice yeah. of toast rather. You know, for post workout, because you were talking about new exercise, new yes. workout program. So you know, for post workout, we need some protein to just to repair our muscles after a workout. So just a small snack, like a piece of bread with some peanut butters or maybe an egg or some nuts, that will totally hit the requirement of protein. Have you tried it yet? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I eat bread every day. <laughs> yes. Either it's you know, French toast or sandwiches. Um, so I love that, when, especially when I toast it, because it's, you know, it's warm and nice. And it's not beanie, trust me. Because you know, when you heard about you know, beans and chickpeas in the bread, you thought, oh, maybe it's beanie. No, toast, yeah. I give my, you know, my, my daughters, they don't even know there's beans inside. So it's great, one of the great products out there by Country Harvest. Yes, yeah, it's wonderful. And then also, too, what are some other protein foods. Now since we're talking about six grams of protein, so I brought along what actually other food that has six grams right. of protein. So a large egg would have six grams of protein. So maybe an egg with you know a, a, a piece of bread, a toast in the morning, that will totally give us 12 grams and it has some little bit of peanut butter, 15 grams of protein, just like that. Now pumpkin seeds, oh uh, which is quite hot nowadays. So a quarter cup of pumpkin seeds will give us six grams of protein. Can you have chocolate on that? <laughs> Do they have? Actually, you can... I found some chocolate covered pumpkin <laughs> seeds. <laughs> uh, why not? Dark chocolate, yes, flavanol, antioxidants, um, quinoa. We love quinoa here in, in Vancouver. And uh, again, also a quarter cup of quinoa also have six grams of protein. Now, nuts. What are some of your favorite nuts? Well, I like walnuts and cashews, and we have Pistachio. cashews. Pistachio is my favorite. <laughs> uh, but some of the nuts, some nuts have higher protein, protein than the other. Almonds, peanuts, and pistachio are one of the highest um, protein you know, content in terms of nuts. So I brought 49 pistachio, 49, 49 pistachio, which is about a half a cup, will give us six grams of protein and as 49. well. 49. 49. <laughs> I actually count 49 in that. Um, tofu. Uh, we, you know, we have soft tofu, firm tofu, extra firm tofu. So there's all sorts of tofu. So I usually will eat firm tofu. 
because it's just packed more protein in it. So half of this cube will give you six grams of protein. Mm -hmm. So the more firm it is, the more protein and 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 uh, more nutrients are packed in Interesting. it. Interesting. And then I see yogurt. A uh, yogurt now. This is hard to find. Nowadays, yogurt is so small in container. Yes. Um, so this big container has six grams of protein. So if you're eating some of those mini ones, it's very likely you need two of them to oh, actually no. hit six grams. You have to have <laughs> one. <laughs> Um, so if you want to have one, you might want to go for Greek yogurt, which right. is double the amount of protein. Okay, so it's two little ones, it's, we'll make one of them. Absolutely, yes. Now, I was thinking just uh, salted. Salted peanuts and salted walnuts, it's better to have it unsalted, right? Well, it, it, it is very interesting. If you look at the na label, yes, it does have salt and it. it does have sodium, but it's not as crazy as some of the packaged food, you know, mm -hmm. like canned food or some of the you know, pre-processed you know, instant noodles, for example. So salted nuts is not as crazy or, or as devil as it sounds to be. So I always say whatever it takes for you to eat, Nuts. So if it's salted that you're going for, then go for the salted nuts. Okay. But just you know, the the serving size, as we're talking about, half a cup or a quarter cup, is not that crazy. That's great. Good information, and thank you very much for coming on the show. And we'll have you back, Gloria, and be right back. With me in the studio is Zara Durrani, TV host, model and actress and fashion editor, and Jane McFadden, executive director of West Forth Business Association. And they're both here to talk about fitness fashion on West Forth. So welcome to the show, both Thank of you. you. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Yeah, so Jane, let's start with you. What is happening on West Forth for fitness, fun and fashion? It's easy to talk about these things <laughs> and West Forth. It's become a bit of a mecca for fitness on West Forth. We have some really fantastic boutiques on the street that provide all kinds of things from spinning to ballet bars and then we have 22 outdoor 22. stores wow. which you know you can get your snowboard your snowboard gear your yoga gear you can get all of that on West Forth which is great because you do see people walking around every other person <laughs> has their yoga mat so everything for any athletic activity absolutely Great. And what's great about shopping on 4th is it's outdoors, so you're not in a mall, you're getting fresh air, and it's easy to get inspired to work out, to go to a spin class, to go do yoga, and yeah, like everyone's holding their yoga mat, and in Lulu's or in Public Myth. It's true. It's great. Well, we live in an outdoor city, and, and it's New Year's, so, you know, getting in shape or, tr you know. It's usually at the top yes. of people's mm -hmm. list, isn't it, after the exactly. indulgence of, of the holiday season. That's wonderful. Now, we're going to talk about some favorite fashion styles, Sarah. So, we have a mini fashion show going on, or mm -hmm. shortly. <laughs> yeah, Sarah has picked some amazing things from our boutiques on West 4. Yes. So. So we'll get our first model out. This is our model, Sarah, who's wearing a lovely look from Semper Viva. Semper Viva is a yoga studio and they also carry a lot of uh, fun clothing. So Sarah, I'll just get you to lower down your jacket. Um, this bra top as well as the pants, and if you want to turn around, they're both one size fits all. And one size fits all? Yes. Oh. I love the back of it, I love mm -hmm. the detail. I love the detail in there and you know it's got the mala beads and, and the cute little hat. So for a yogi like me, yoga is cool, <laughs> I like that. And I like the idea of you know on grey rainy January days of adding some pop of colour so those pants make me really happy. Exactly. You do love your colour. I, I think do. I gravitate to the dark colours but Zara's taught me that you should go for a punch of colour. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's good to have a splash of colors for it changes your mood and it just adds. Absolutely. It's not so black. You know, I love black. Perhaps <laughs> <a motivation. laughs> Christy is in a full head to toe look from RYU, Respect Your Universe. How long have they been on fourth? They just opened their first store there a year and a half ago, and they've been well received by Vancouverites. People love them. They're, it's a gorgeous store. I don't know if you've been in it, but oh, they yeah, recently yeah. won Best Store in the World for their layout and design. You're it's, kidding, it's wow. It's gorgeous. I was, when I was just there picking up the outfits, just the setup, it's very... The feel. It's a great feel and it's very welcoming and if you get a chance to go there, they have these stairs, it's very motivational and inspiring it's, as you're climbing up those stairs. So this look, you know, I, I like this beautiful 
blue. It's not super bright blue, yet it's a statement piece and you're layering it with the jacket. Um, you know, if you're going for a run, um, the, little, the little hoodie inside, you can layer it up and you can put your hands in there. If you can uh, lift up your hands there, wonderful. Yeah. Great. <laughs> So it's a great outfit for going for a run, for a jog outside, you know, on kids' beach. It's a great blue. Yeah, it's a great blue. blue. Thank you. For performance, right? Yeah. And fashion. Yeah, they make amazing things. They use the best quality fabrics, RYU. And Susan is actually, I've mixed up this look, and we'll get you to just unzip your beautiful blue jacket from RYU. And um, her toque and her jacket are from RYU, and the bra top and pants are from Public Myth. Now, Public Myth is um, it's a local company. Everything is made and designed in Vancouver, and the wow. pants are bamboo. That's wonderful. I like the pants. Many pockets. Yeah, all of their <laughs> Don't stuff put credit cards is in really there. <laughs> soft, and it yeah. has that amazing stretch to yes. it. Yes. And, and like Zara has, said, they, yeah. they make everything locally. I think their, their tag on the inside says made with love and soul in, in Canada, that. which is really great because I think not a lot of companies can do that these days. So it's nice to have them on West 4th, of course, and then have them support the economy of being local. Sustainability and it's bamboo, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And if you go in the store, you'll notice all these colors and they have mesh leggings. So it's mixing fashion and making workout wear yoga clothes a lot of fun. So it's, you know. Yes. <laughs> you, I think you purchased an orange pair. Yes. Which I was shocked at, but they look fantastic on Zara. Yeah. Very slimming. They were very slimming, I have to I say. I like that. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Sarah in a full look from Public Myth. Yeah, I love these tights, and ladies, you won't believe these tights are very, very slimming and elongating for the legs, and if you can just do a nice little turnaround, Sarah. That's their tagline, oh, like live with, with passion. passion. Yes. Isn't that live great? Should be our motto for 2017. <laughs> It looks comfy. And, it, it's mm. comfy and I feel it's very West Coast. You know, mm. you could wear it to the yoga studio, grab salad with the girlfriends or a latte at 49th and Parallel, you know, afterwards. It's just, you know, take from the yoga studio to street to shopping. It's, it's just a great look. Mm -hmm. So this is the mesh uh, piece that I was talking about, these tights that Christy is wearing. They're fun, you know. Um, they come in lots of different sizes, as well as there's the way the jacket fits on the body. It really shows your physique. And if you want to unzip that, they have fun, bright colors for bra tops, oh, like okay. neon. Which is a fun place to put the color, like a yeah. pop of color just a little bit. Yeah. The black outfit looks great. Yeah, so if you wanted to wear black, Jane, you could have your black <laughs> you and, and, a, little and then, yeah, a little pop of colors. The so. mesh windows are so popular these days. Just yeah. a little bit of... And it's classy, too. It it's is. like, I really just like it. Just makes them a bit different. Yeah. Susan is wearing a very cozy look for January. You know, I got this, picked up this outfit from Semper Viva store. It's a, they I have a... I love this look. Yeah. It's great. It's a yoga studio, and they also have cute little outfits for men and women. And, mm. you know, you can have the throw, go to a yoga class, and afterwards grab a little coffee, hang out with your girlfriends. That's wonderful. And you said men too, right? And for men as That's well. That's great. Yeah, if they've and got a boutique little retail space. And if you haven't done a yoga class at Semper Viva, you should. It's a gorgeous studio. I haven't yet. <laughs> but you should try. Put new year, new beginning. <laughs> we'll go together. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Susan. Yeah. So I wanted to thank you very much for coming on the show. And Thanks for um, having us. For more information, where can they go? You can go to Shop West 4th, that's with the number 4, th.com, and of course follow us on our social media as well. That's wonderful. Thank you both. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this break. Joining me in the studio are two special guests, David Turner, CEO of Regenerex Health Corporation. David has extensive international experience in the nutritional and health industries. And Paul Romero, who is an elite ultra runner and coach who operates Uprise Performance, a coaching and mentoring program based in the Sea to Sky Corridor. They're both here today to talk about Regenerex Astaxin and the benefits from taking this product. I hope I pronounced it right. It's 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, Paul, how does it how does it help you with your, with your recovery? The list is endless. It kind of is. <laughs> I, I'll be brief as, as I can. Uh, in my business and what I do, being an ultra marathoner and 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 uh, a multi day athlete. Uh, I challenged myself to the world's toughest, longest, hardest competitions there are on earth, period, you know. That, AKA, that's the business of putting my body under the most stress and the most damage that I can possibly do. Doesn't sound like very much fun, does it? It is, incredible 200 fun. 200 miles, and, right? and 200 <laughs> miles, multi-day, nonstop, it's very, very stressful on the body. The oxidation, the aging that, that is happening, the damage to tissues is tremendous. I've spent my whole career finding uh, agents and finding supplements and, and, and uh, tonics to cure my body and to, I've never found anything that does the work that Astaxanthin and, and Regenerix does. I've been taking Astaxanthin for 14 years. I've been sourcing it from some other sources in Hawaii and, and the likes. Right. And until Regenerix came along, I never found this quality and this grade of Astaxanthin. It's extremely potent, extremely effective. And at this point now at my age, I'm 47, I'm still full-time competing at the front of the pack and, and putting my body under tremendous stress. I'm injury free, pain free during these events, and my ability to recover after these events is tremendous. I kind of blow my own mind as well as my, 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 my colleagues and my, and my crew around me, how I'm able to just recover, uh, and as well as, um, I mean, I could go on about the, the athletic recovery, but the eyesight for me was tremendous. I was, I was losing that here many, many months ago, and, and uh, within weeks of taking this, I just feel I don't need glasses anymore, and that was, that's, that was no, there was no other thing that changed in my program besides astaxanthin. It's, it's tremendous skin care, the skin health that a lot of my athletes report from being on astaxanthin. It can make you look younger. Yes, it does actually, yes. It, it helps re remove fine lines. So women, yeah, so women find that the crow's feet that they get are removed and it helps absorb a little bit extra uh, water within the skin, within the dermal layer. So it actually, the skin feels softer and, and looks younger. Goodness. It's almost so diverse and so wise, so effective in so many categories. It's almost tough to believe when you when you understand cellular biology and understand oxidation and, and that what an age that is a strong anti antioxidant. That's what it does. Every every where in the body that needs uh, needs repair is happening, and, and nothing else on the market, nothing else on the market does what astaxanthin and what Regenerix does. Period. Period. And, and, you know, Paul, it's helped you through Lake Tahoe 200 miles, right? I've just run 200 That's miles incredible. nonstop for 61 hours. Uh, I have a, a crew that takes care of me in these events. They checked on my pain level throughout the event. I normally take a little painkiller sometimes in these because it's, I needed to take none. I was taking Astaxanth Regenerex throughout the event. I used um, Astaxanthin to help me and my team get up Mount Everest a few years ago. It was mm -hmm. the only supplement I was taking going up Mount Everest to, to get rid of pain and inflammation, which is tremendous at, at that and performance needed for that and it was instrumental it was the only thing I had in my pocket in my suit to give my team um, the list goes on and on it's it's I trust my life with it and my whole career with it and and trust enough to give it to my athletes and my family people want more information where can they go they can go to the website mm -hmm. www.regenurex and that's spelled r-e-g-e-n-u-r-e-x dot com dot com yeah okay I want to thank you very much for coming on the show and uh, we'll be right back With me in the studio is a very special guest, Dr. Mark Wang, who we are pleased to have back on Doctor's Corner to discuss the importance of dental health for an overall healthy lifestyle. Welcome to Doctor's Corner, Dr. Wang. Thank you, Christine. Nice to be here again. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about foods that make your teeth not only healthier, but whiter. And what are they? I mean, I read on the internet, um, cauliflower apples are good for your teeth to make them healthier, right? And whiter, is that? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, any, any fruits and vegetables are, are an integral part of a balanced uh, diet. And uh, certainly uh, things like apples, strawberries, pears, things like that, they're two things that are high in vitamin C uh, are also very, very important to keep your gums uh, in, in good shape too. We all know that uh, back in the uh, 15, 1600s, you know, uh, sailors used to get scurvy because they had lack of vitamin C, right? So uh, that's not a scourge of, uh, uh, of modern, modern day societies, but, but certainly those foods are extremely important in, uh, in, in maintaining uh, good gum health. Good sure. gum health, yeah. and but you know, I I thought strawberries would stain your teeth. Well, oh, they'll stain your clothes for sure, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not but not necessarily. As, no one stain your teeth per se, right? I mean, certainly things like um, coffees, teas with red wine with with tannins in them, those will stain your teeth for sure. You know, curries, blueberries, things like that will stain your teeth a little bit, but. Uh, um, 
a good brushing and, and some flossing and good regular hygiene visits will, uh, will, will limit the amount that your teeth weigh at state. So. Yeah. Right, and um, what are some other good foods? Like, um, I mean, I mentioned uh, cauliflower, apples, and um, but what about blueberries? Oh, absolutely, blueberries are you know antioxidants for sure. You know, so I mean, again, uh, important in, in in your diet for sure. Uh, broccoli, but any really any green leafy vegetables, kale, broccoli, things like that, there too are are are, are part of a balanced uh, diet. You know, so so absolutely. Now we talk about you know like coffee. I love coffee. Oh, I love coffee too. <laughs> I'm not tea. drinking any, but this is. Just <laughs> <laughs> but they st they you know it stains your teeth. So, um, but it also you know tooth decay as well. So what can you do? Like carry a toothbrush and brush your teeth? Or well, I think you know also you know I think you may want to limit the amount of sweeteners you put in in your coffee and tea. I'm not saying that, that these things are bad for you. I mean I, I enjoy a cup of coffee and tea as much as the next person mm -hmm. but uh, uh, you know maybe limit your consumption or limit the amount of, of, of sugars and, and artificial sweeteners that you put in them. Uh, we'll, we'll so like certainly. black coffee? Well, black coffee is fine, it's, it's all right, <laughs> but uh, uh, I find it a little bit too bitter, but you know, just try to reduce the amount of, uh, of sugar. But if you can take it black, I mean, it's, it's probably better for you, yeah, for sure. Yes, but also too, what about water? Mm -hmm. I mean, water, it uh, keeps your gums healthy, but is fluoride important? Uh, fluoride is, you know, certainly important, uh, you know, as, as, as in, as dentists, we always uh, apply fluoride when people come in for their regular visits, when, when they get their teeth cleaned and things like that there too. But, uh, uh, and you know, I, I encourage pa parents in, in my practice to uh, uh, put fluoride drops in their kids' uh, uh, water and, and drinks too because uh, there is no fluoride in, in the drinking water in most communities in, in British Columbia. Really? Right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was fluoride, and, and where do you... If, if fluoride occurs, it, it really occurs naturally, but there's right. really, really very little fluoride in our drinking water. Our water is very, very soft. We enjoy some of the best drinking water in the world here, right? We so do. we don't put much in it, so... Uh, but there is no fluoride in our, in, in our drinking water. And so... Anyway, you might as well have tap water instead of buying bottled water. Oh, uh, I, I think uh, uh, bottled water is a, is a very convenient, uh, uh, very convenient thing to take with us. I mean, some of us or a lot of us are have busy lives. We're always on the go, and uh, you know, I admit I have lots of bottled water in my house for uh, for myself when I head out or my kids head out. There, we just grab a bottle and uh, and, and we go. But uh, again, I don't believe uh, there, there's much fluoride in, in bottled water as, as, as well, right? So. Um, mm -hmm. But but water is a great uh, great source of uh, uh, of hydration. It's probably the best thing for you, really. If you're if you're thirsty, um, you know, you're asking me about uh, you know, talk about teeth and everything like that. You know, energy drinks are a big thing with runners as well, right? You know, mm -hmm. and uh, the one thing with energy drinks, if you actually you know read the labels, is those, those that's chock full of sugar right there. I know there's salts and everything like that in there as well, but there's a lot of sugar in it as well. So if you're running a race or stuff stuff like that there too, and you, and you grab a Gatorade or something like that. Um, you know, you've got a lot of lot of sugar in your system, which will probably give you a little bit of booster energy and some salt, but you know, maybe not the greatest for your teeth as well. So uh, I think it's a combination. You have to um, seek that balance there, right? So maybe at one station you grab a Gatorade, next station you know grab a water, next station after that grab another water, right? You know, so, exactly. But, uh, but as, as runners, you know, you need that you need that replenishment of salt and energy as well. So it's kind of a love hate type thing, but. Uh, uh, I guess, like, like for most things, anything in moderation is, uh, is, is good. Dr. Wang, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show, and um, it was a great information, and we'll be right back after this. Thanks for watching. If you have a question or comment about today's show, go to our website on the screen. Or to watch past episodes, you can go to our YouTube channel at RunWithItCB1, or follow me on Twitter at Christine Runs. Until next time, run with it. Run With It is sponsored by Be Well TV, Ethical Bean, Greystone Dental Clinic, Hype Hair, Regenerex Health Corporation, Run to Quit, Skechers Performance Canada, Vancouver Sun Run presented by Ford, and West Coast Wellness and Skin Health Centre.